So Modtap is a very powerful feature to create dedicated or dual function keys based on key behavior. So you can tap a key once, for instance, to activate an action, but you can also hold it down to perform another action. And this is especially useful for, let's say, the Wooting 60HE, because the Wooting 60HE doesn't have dedicated arrow keys, but now with Modtap, you can actually assign arrow keys to wherever you would want. So you can say that the right shift and the menu button and the FM button and the control button all become arrow keys. So you tap it and it is an arrow key. But if you hold it down, it will actually remain its old function of FN and a menu. So that's something you can do with ModTap and I'm going to show you right now how to actually set it up. So let's go. So the first thing you want to do is navigate to utility.io or download the app and open the app. Then you will navigate to the advanced keys tab on the left. And then you scroll down a little bit and you will see mod tab. Simply click on this and now you can actually assign a key you want to change with mod tab. In my case, yeah, I'm going to start with the right shift key. So simply click on the right shift and then click on the yellow continue button. As you can see, the right shift key is already assigned to the hold function. But if you want this to be on a tab function, you can simply just drag it over towards there. That's easy. But in this case, we're going to keep it on the hold function and we're going to actually assign the upper arrow key to the tap function. So go to the search bar and simply type in arrow. And now we're going to drag the up arrow key towards the tap. And then if all is correct, we can actually go to the tester and actually try it out. So now I tap. As you can see, it does the arrow key. We have a hold it down you can actually see it does the right shift key. So this is working absolutely perfect. But you can also tweak things just a little bit further in the advanced settings tab. So if you click on the advanced settings tab, you can actually see you can change the game input tick rate. In most cases, you don't really need to change this at all. But the setting that's mostly relevant for most users is the override hold duration setting. This allows you to change the time that is actually required for you to hold down the key before the hold function is actually activated. So the default setting is 200 milliseconds, but if you find that a little bit too slow, you can actually lower it to like as low as 10 milliseconds. If you find it 200 milliseconds to be too fast, you can actually change this all the way up to a thousand milliseconds, so one second. Simply just change these settings according to the way you prefer, and then simply just click done and save to keyboard to save it to your keyboard. And that's all. So we basically set up now the upper arrow key, but of course we want to set up the rest as well. So let's go and do that now. Click on mod tab, click on menu, continue. And we want arrow key to the left on the menu key. And then done, that's done. Nice, well, now we got the left arrow key, very fast. So now as well for the right control, continue, arrow down, done. Very nice, very easy. FN1, continue. Arrow, right, done, save the keyboard, and voila, we got arrow keys now on our Wooting 60HE. But besides baking arrow keys on your 60HE, you can actually do a lot of other helpful combinations. I'll just give a few. If you're a, for instance, a Counter-Strike player, you can assign the tilde key to the escape key. So when you tap the escape key, you will actually open the menu. But when you hold it, you actually open the console if you need to fiddle around with some things. And if you frequently work with calculations or, you know, Excel, you can set the caps lock key to bring up the calculator. And when held down, it actually just uses caps lock. Or of course the other way around. Also you can use the caps lock to access your FN layer, giving you a quick one-handed access to the F row. Alternatively, you can map mod tab to the number row to activate the function keys as well. And these are just a few ideas, but I'd love to hear about the combinations you actually use. Feel free to share them in the comments below. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this, found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And we'll check you guys out in the next one. Goodbye.